Hello ladies and welcome to Suzanne the Beauty Shaman. So today I'm going to do a one and done makeup using Jane Iredale products. One of you, my viewers, um, Dean's Fry, asked me to do this. So I wanted to um, just say absolutely and here you go. So this is for you and for all of you ladies who are interested in seeing more of Jane Iredale products. I've done a review for her before for her product line um, and I gave it, you know, a very positive review. I do really like her products, um, but this one is more, I'm just gonna use the products in my application. Um, I've borrowed a bunch of products from a friend of mine. Um, she's got a huge spread of Jane Iredale, so she's a professional makeup artist as well, so I'm gonna use a lot of those, so this is gonna be really super fun. Before we move on, be sure that you hit subscribe so that I can continue monetizing on YouTube and making um, content for you and hit the bell in order to be notified every single time I upload a video and visit my website, thebeautyshaman.com. Use the code SB10 in order to get 10% discount on all of the skincare products that I sell. Okay, let's get started. All right, so Jane Iredale. So I'm going to show you all of the Jane Iredale um, makeup or color that my friend Beth loaned to me. Look at that. Pretty amazing, right? It all folds up into a neat little package here. Super cool. I'm excited to use some of these products. I think they're just gorgeous. Um, so for this makeup, it's one and done. So it's, you know, you're going to work. You just want something simple. I've worn kind of a, you know, a more corporate looking outfit. And I'm very excited to make this just look good and clean. One and done, quick out the door. Okay, first we need to have a sip of tea. Okay, so for starters, we have to prep the skin. Now, I don't have any um, Jane Iredale skincare here, unfortunately. I just have makeup. But I do need to prep my skin, so I'm going to use the, my very favorite serum, which is Truth Treatments C Serum. You only need two drops of this. One, two. If you use no other product um, in your skincare, um, use this one. Because it is packed with lovely nourishing ingredients. Biomimetic Mist, helps the efficacy of the product, plumps your skin. These two together are phenomenal. You will see immediate changes in your skin using these. So also you can use them all around your eyes so you don't even need eye cream. He doesn't even make eye cream. Ben Fuchs, watch some of my um, interviews with him, the owner of Truth Treatments, uh, owner and creator. He's a compounding pharmacist, really knows what he's doing, totally love these products. I've been in love with them ever since I started using them about four years ago. Okay, that's my skin nicely prepped. And as I use those, it plumps up my skin, makes it vibrant. You can see how happy my skin is. Um, okay, so moving forward, we're going to do um, a primer. So this is, um, this is a Jane Iredell primer, okay? It's called Beauty Prep. She loves this. My friend loves this. So we'll see. I've not used it actually. So it comes like that. Why do you use primers? Anybody know? <laughs> primers help keep your makeup on. And if you're like me, makeup just soaks right into my skin. It's just the nature of my skin. Um, some people, they can keep their makeup on all day. My skin is not like that. It just eats it. Um, so it's really important that I use primer in order for my makeup to stay on. Okay, and then we're gonna use um, the Jane Iredell Mineral Foundation. So it looks like this. When I first saw this, I thought it looked kind of weird. I was like, that's kind of crazy. But when you squirt it out on your hand, like that, and then you rub it, the color changes a little bit. Really nice, really pretty. This is slightly warmer than my skin. I'm doing this on purpose. Just gonna warm up my complexion. Um, you can do this if you want to. You don't have to match your skin exactly. Um, don't go lighter, because that's when you look like you've died. Not good. Older women, we don't want to look like death. So it's a little bit of a difference, not huge. If you're going to warm it up, you have to take it down your neck a little bit in order to not have that line, right? You want to blend everything together. Just blend that in. Taking it down just a bit, just to blend that in. And right under here, you're always going to be slightly lighter in color. It can also, you know, as we get older, we start to get a little bit of a lovely bump right here. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> just love that little bump. Mm. So if you take your foundation down, you'll diminish it just because it tends to be lighter right here because the sun doesn't hit it. So just pull it down and you'll go, oh, kind of took it away. 
And if you still feel like it isn't gone, like maybe you need to do more, take your contour color and put a little bit under there. I need another sip of tea. So that's the foundation. I think it looks really pretty. Um, slightly warmed up my skin, which I feel really happy with. I think it matches great at this point because I've pulled it down. Um, so I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with Jane Iredale eyeshadow. So I like to use eyeshadow on a thin brush. And I just fill it in just a little bit on the outer edge. Now I color my hair. I know you think I'm, you know, 53 years old with no silver hair, which is not true. <laughs> okay. Definitely have silver hair. I'm about 60% silver. Not quite ready yet to go the whole hog, you know? And that's just me. You do you do you. I'll do me. I just not there yet. And I also color my brows is why I brought that up. So when I color my hair, I also do my brows. Um, yes, I do it myself, but I'm licensed, so there's that. So eyebrows are done. All right, now I'm gonna move on to some contour. Now this actually, um, I don't have any Jane Iredell contour. So forgive me, I have to go use my own contour. Um, so I'm gonna use actually a cream-based contour. I actually don't do much with cream-based contours, but I thought I would show in this video how to do that. So this is a professional, um, I'll put something down below. Um, one of you reminded me once I forgot to do that. I will remember to put this down below. Not this brand, but another brand that is a cream contour, okay? Very important to know how to do this. So I'm actually gonna take um, this brush right here, dip it in here, and I'm just gonna apply it like you would a powder, the difference is you have to work with it a little bit more. Powders you just kind of put on and go. With a cream, you kind of got to work with it. I think you can use creams. If you want to use a cream contour, a cream blush, anything in cream, go for it. Sometimes it stays on better. Sometimes people like it better for that very reason. But basically, as you can see, I use it the same. I always take it a little bit to frame my face, unless you have a really short forehead. Then I would say this is unnecessary. Um, I have a pretty substantial forehead. I think that means I'm kind of stubborn. <laughs> Strong, maybe that's what that means, I don't know. Okay, so you see I did a contour? I'm gonna go a little bit underneath. See, totally diminished that little line right there. So this is easy, right? It just gives my face some dimension. Um, this contour does not have any mica in it. It's not shiny. It's just adding a little bit of shape, which I'm very happy with. So this is my blush. Just a lovely warm color to go along with my um, red. Red is a warm color. So you want to do peaches with blushes and lipstick. Um, you don't have to wear red lipstick when you wear a red shirt. So you can see, this actually works really well, as long as you're in the same family, okay? You wanna stay in the same color family. So if you've noticed, I haven't put any powder on. So, you know, I'm gonna put a tiny bit. I'm not a big fan of powder on older women. I try to use as little as possible. I make up a lot of on-camera talent. Um, you know, on camera, you know, if it's too shiny, it can be really distracting. So, I'm on camera. <laughs> but if you have dry skin, honestly, you probably don't need very much powder. So really go easy on the powder. All right, so lipstick. So in my one and done lipstick, I'm going to use, um, I think I'm going to just put a little bit of patisserie on. I really like this color. It's kind of neutral. It's like a pinky, corally color. But I'm going to add a little bit of a warm lip liner just to add that um, little bit more of a corally warm tone to it. And you can go a little outside your lip line if you want your lips to be a little bigger. Okay. So that's pretty. Just a nice sheer lip. And if you want a little bit more shine. All right, eyes. Let's do eyes. So the one and done with eyes. So this is all pretty basic, right? So one and done with eyes, I'm just gonna do a color all over my lid. Very simple. So I'm gonna use this brush, which is a blending brush. Nice, thick, soft brush. So it's going to be easy to do kind of a wash all over my eyelid. Now because I'm wearing red, I'm going to go with a warm tone. Everything on my face is going to basically be warm and I'm going to go all over my lid. So I'm using just a really warm toned 
not a bronze. It's got a little bit more um, yellow to it than that. I don't know the names of these because they're in this, that thing that I showed you and I can't actually pop the colors out. So now I'm going to use this all over my lid. Very nice, very quick. So this is great if you're in a rush. You just do one color, one and done. Very nice. One color all over my lid, just a lovely kind of a warmish brown. Now I'm gonna use a pencil, and all I'm gonna do with this is do my waterline, that's it. So you go underneath your lashes, one and done here, people. Underneath, not even gonna go on top, see that? Very simple, see that? Very simple, just in my waterline. Now, I didn't put it underneath. You can if you want to. Um, I'm gonna really leave that up to your discretion. If you have dark circles and you put a lot of color underneath, it can really pull your eyes down. If you wanna use this in your waterline underneath, yeah, let's try that Might as well. That's kind of pretty. Just be careful, even if, sometimes if you use waterproof products, it can run a little bit on your face. You know, I just don't want you guys going to work and when you get there, you've got makeup running down your face, okay? So be really, you know, really pay attention to that. All right, now I'm gonna do a little bit of Maybelline Great Lash. A mascara that I constantly, my go-to. Okay, so this is my one and done look using mostly Jane Iredale products. So this was very simple, very fast. I've got one eyeshadow, one eye pencil, a um, little bit of mascara, contour, blush, foundation, concealer. All right, actually, did I even do concealer? I don't even think I did concealer, but that's okay. One and done, very simple, very fast. Sometimes you don't even need concealer, you know, if you don't have dark circles. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'd love your comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to interact with you. So please um, share your thoughts down below. Please visit my website, thebeautyshaman.com. And thank you so much for watching.